Hello, this is Jake, and welcome back to another video on my automotive channel. Today, I'm going to do some work on the Volvo. Um, I did actually want to do some work on the Z3 as well, but i got to wait for a few other parts to come first. There's no point doing the parts because they got to be removed again to put the other parts in. So, we're going to do some work on my new Volvo V40. Um, there's the Z3 right there with the bits on the back in the box. Um, I'll show you what we got in a second. Hugo went for a run the other day. Me and Lee went up to Harry Bucklin's in Hugo and it was actually fine. I uh, probably not run him in three weeks and everything worked great. No issues whatsoever. Um, well, I say no issues. There's something going on with steering, but I knew that anyway. The Fiat Pop, we got some work coming on him very soon. I know people keep asking me, but there is, I promise. There's some stuff coming on the Fiat Pop. And like I said, the Z3, we need to get that up in the air. So I gotta move the captor and we're sort of Volvo out. Okay, box of goodies. So, new gator for the Z3. Um, this is actually quite, um, it's not a big job, but I gotta glue it to the plastic and everything. That's not gonna be happening yet. That's one of the parts I need to do once we get the other parts sorted because I'd have to remove it again anyway. Um, Brand new brake pads for the Volvo for the front because it does need them. It was an advisory on the last MOT. Got this one for the fuel cap because, as you know, these always come off cars and your fuel cap falls out or you've got to pull it on the floor and then there's a chance you might forget it. So, brand new one of them. Um, this is for the Z3, new door and door gaiters um, because the ones are original on the car and completely rotted then new wiper unit and a blade as well for the volvo which we'll be doing first we have a brand new gear knob for the z3 finally got one um yeah there's a bit of a story behind that i'll tell you about it one day but yeah we got a new gear knob the old one is damaged was supposed to be repaired so yeah Let's do this one first. I can't set the camera up really to show you because I'm parked against the wall. But you can see the remains of the original one right here. So what we got to do is basically take this one off. It should come off quite easy. There we go. And then attach the new one. Okay. That one, I had to break it off, but it doesn't matter because we're not putting that one back on. We're putting a new one on. This does have some flex in it, but I will be careful. Make sure I do not break it. There we go. All fitted. Easy fits. Right. On to the wiper. Okay, let's do this wiper. Um, it is quite windy, so sorry for any wind noise, but I can't stop the wind, unfortunately. There you go. This wiper is actually slightly different to mine. No. Do that one. At least it's not corroded and rusted on there. Should just release off. It finally come off. Um, it was wild on that, but yeah, it's off. There we go. There's the old one. Let's get a new one. Here's our flashy new Volvo rear wiper and then we need to put the bolt back on and what it'll do is squeeze it on there with the teeth and mold it to the right shape I'm guessing not a car mechanic as you all know Be in. Don't want to turn it out too much because damaging it. And then this cover should just go on like so. So here's the old wiper. Good thing I changed it. I didn't even realise that the plastic's broke here. So it needed changing for that as well. I was changing it mainly because the cover was missing and the spare one I got from my Bucklins was also broke. So that's why one of the reasons I changed the rear wiper. It's now working. I just tested it. So these can be chucked away. So, 
I just got to put the ramps down at the back here. I've left enough room. The uh, reason I'm doing it in the carport because we can actually get the car on the flat to do that. And then we'll probably swap them around and do the same with the Volvo so we can do the front brakes. But I don't think we're doing the front brakes today. I think we're only going to do the exhaust on the Z3. Okay. Unfortunately, I stopped filming yesterday because the rain came down and it was really, really bad. It's been raining now since I stopped filming. Dinner time yesterday, about 12, 1 o'clock. And I couldn't get nothing done. It was just too wet and arbor. We did manage to get underneath the Z3 and um, cut that bracket off, which is here. There you go. That's what's left of that bracket. We will be putting a new one on. Not right now, because i got to order it. But we got the bracket off. Here's some footage. So, I couldn't film much, because like I said, it was raining. Because this is a metal roof, it just makes a racket. There was no point, you wouldn't hear nothing. So, next day, what I'm going to do today, which is good, because... Um, two more parts have come. The first part is actually for the Z3 key, new buttons. These are, well, they're a lot better than what's on the Z3 at the moment. The keys on the Z3, you can see they are pretty rough, so I will be changing them in this video as well. Um, but first job, I gotta move the Z3 back because I got these, the German flag. And they are gonna go on the fins here. Now, if they look good, and I'm pleased with them, we'll leave them on that for a bit, but I probably will eventually actually spray them because I'm pretty good at spraying models and that, so it couldn't be that bad. And what I'd do, I'd just take the kidney grill out and do it like that. But yeah, we're going to see what the decals look like. The air dryer is to eat them up so they, you know, mow to the shape of the fin. And i got to unlock the garage. Okay. So we're going to have yellow here. Red. And then black. Leaving one grill clear. And then these across here. So I need a scissors first. But Well, there's one. Like I said, it does need tidying up a bit down here. Let me grab my um, scalpel. But the air dryer will eat it up. Look at that. It's not rained for a good hour. I come out to do some work on the Z3 and it starts raining again. Well, there we go. This video might be all over the place, but the weather's just, it's, it's starting again. It's really bad in the UK. I still want to move to Italy or summer just to get better weather, just to do filming. But we got the Z3 done. Um, excuse the rain, the grill. That's also got to be put up as a separate video, just to show you guys how to do that. But um, so yeah, there we go, the Z3's done, and uh, nothing on you go today, because there's really nothing to do. Um, I got some work planned for him, obviously the interior and that. The, because I filmed yesterday as well, the Volvo was back in the car park, but we got the cap done, the wiper. There's a problem with the front wiper, I'll fill you in on the details very soon. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I've got some great work done on the cars, just wish the weather was a little bit better. Um, but more on the Z3 very soon. Like I said, there's an exhaust kit coming, which is going to be great fun. Um, looking forward to that. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Sorry this is a bit of a mixed up video, but yeah, can't stop the weather unfortunately. I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.